Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial, designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 interior. In today's tutorial, we're going to build a profile. In the next tutorial, we're going to use that profile to reveal the front face of our architectural model. I'm in the welcome screen. So, go to the family area and select the new button. You can also click the file tab and select the new button. In the family section, click the new button. This brings the select template file dialog box. I'm going to cancel this file to show you another method. Click the file tab and avoid the mouse cursor to new. Follow the window and select family. This will bring the same dialog box. Now hold down the scroll bar and select profile hosted and click open. Go to the quick access toolbar and click the save button. This brings the save drawing as dialog box. Navigate to the folder where you save the exercise file for this project or the file that you download from the website and save this file to that directory. Name this file 00 underscore 032 underscore DIAB underscore I. Click the save button. Because we start this family with the, the hosted profile template, you see the indication of the host area of the family. This is the host face. Now, right click the reference plane, select grid similar, go to the draw panel and select the pick line button. Change the offset to inch and half and offset this reference plane up. Zoom in, reference this reference plane down. Reference this reference plane, reference this plane to the right and reference it to the right once more. Go to the quick access tool and select the align dimension command. Select this reference plane, this reference plane, this reference plane. Click to place the dimension. Zoom out and click the EQ button. Select this reference plane, this reference plane, this reference plane. Move the cursor away from the reference plane and click to place the dimension. Select the EQ button. Now select this reference plane and this plane and place the dimension. Select this and this and place the dimension. Click the modify button on the select tab panel. Select this dimension and click the grid parameter button. Rename this parameter to width and click OK. Select this dimension, click the grid parameter button. Rename this parameter to height. Click OK. Zoom in closer. Go to the grid tab, detail panel and select the line command. Go to the draw panel and select the rectangle. Start the rectangle from this corner to this corner. Lock all this pad, this pad lock icon to constrain the sketch line. Click the modify button. Go to the status bar and click the save button. Alright, now the profile is being complete but we cannot test this profile without a project. So that's exactly what we're going to do in the next tutorial. We will have this profile open on the background and open a new project. In the next tutorial, we're going to load this profile to that project and use it to review. If you like this tutorial, click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.